four of our membership directory created in Airtable. We finished off our form for our members to enter data, and now we're going to move on to creating a nice gallery of our members. So what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to select gallery. And we're going to have nice cards to display our members. So let's just uh, call this uh, member gallery to identify it. And some fields have come in here and populated themselves already. So let's take a look and see what else we can do here. So we know that we did a full name uh, field using the concatenate in a formula back in our table in part one. And the reason for that is, as you can see, that field looks a lot nicer and takes up less room than using first name and last name. So let's come up here and customize the cards and turn off first name and last name. And that way we can just have the full name across the top. Now we've got business name. We also want to see what their email is. We want to know their website. And we've got city country. Let's do this. And we want to uh, do the contact phone because this is the one that also has a formula pulling in the dialing code and the mobile phone. So that will save us some fields. And we can do certifications as well. Now, one thing um, is let's turn on member type and I'll show you how that might work. So let's put the member type, let's just drag it up and we want that to be all the way up at the top. So in the case of using a membership directory within a Facebook group, uh, some Facebook groups have, uh, they not only have admin people they'd like to identify, but they might have something like a founding member or an elite member uh, along with regular members. And that would be a way to quickly identify uh, for people in the group who is what type of member in case they want to contact a particular type uh, specifically. So now let's just go back and we're going to hide that. And one thing else uh, to show you is we could have done city country as a concatenate field as well. So maybe you want to try that on your own back in the table up here. You could do a location field and do it as a formula and concatenate the city and the country together so that over in the gallery, you can have just a location field and save uh, some room there. So consider trying that on your own and see how you go. Uh, the last thing is um, photo. You can see that you can either um, crop the photo or fit the photo. And this one here to the right is kind of changing. I put in a placeholder of uh, 240 by 180 pixels to show you that that size kind of fits nicely in here, isn't too big and won't take up a lot of um, data space for the photo file itself. So that's our gallery. Now, what I want to show you is a way to filter data. You could say, I only want members that are regular to show because I don't want my admins to actually show in the member directory. So you would just uh, set up a filter. And now anybody who's a regular member would show in your gallery. And you could set up a different um, member gallery view for just regular members. So let's duplicate this. It's got the filter applied. So let's call this regular members gallery. And then you know that that view just shows you that. And you don't have to keep going back and forth and turning the filter on and off. If you know you're going to use that a lot, just save it and then uh, make a different gallery view for that. So since this will be all members, we'll take the filter off 
and let's just rename that so that we know exactly what information is in here. All right, so just to recap, we've got our regular grid view, which we can also name this. I like to um, have an all fields master view, and that tells me that everything that I've included is in this uh, grid. There's nothing hidden. There's no filters. It's just the master file. We've got our uh, form for members to enter their data. And we've got a gallery with everybody in it. And we've got a gallery with just regular members in it. So that is a very simple membership directory. And I'm going to, in the final video, I'm going to show you how you share uh, both the table itself uh, for maybe other admins and how you share the form for people to use and how you can share the gallery itself for members to be able to see each other. So I'll see you on the final video and thanks for staying with us.